Hey guys, RC here. This is episode 33 of Football Manager 20, our home on the range rovers save with Forrest Green. Uh, as we talked about last episode, Leeds hired another coach, never even gave me a call. Ah, it's heartbreaking. But, you know, like I said, it just made it easy for me not to turn them down. Uh, we are in the midst of probably the worst run of form in this save. Uh, after Leeds and Blackburn last episode. A nil-nil draw with Sheffield Wednesday. 2-1 defeat to Palace. Craig Mitchell with the late goal. And they were a player down for much of, much of the second half. Couple of friendlies. We lost 3-1 to Bristol City. Beat Red, uh, Red Bull Salzburg 4-2. Harvey White with a brace. Leighton Stewart found the goal. Unfortunately, Stewart was hurt in that game, and we had a newcomer made his debut in that friendly and was hurt in that match. <laughs> so, And uh, we just lost to Nottingham Forest 3-2. Aaron Collins with a two-minute brace in the second half to put him on 57 goals for his Forest Green career. He is now two goals away from equaling Three goals away from breaking the club all-time scoring record. Uh, but it was not enough. Uh, three goals in a three-minute span. It was just, ugh. So we're, uh, we've are we drawn Swindon. So Swindon play in the Vanarama National League. And they are favorites for this one, uh, at least according to the email. And we're going to play Millwall as well. We have just been in in the doldrums. Uh, we've accepted a bid for uh, Liam Shepard. He will be leaving uh, in uh, in about a week, uh, right after the transfer window opens for us. I guess that's when Dundalk. Uh, they did not offer us a lot. We're going to get up to two hundred and fifty thousand. Uh, he's valued at six hundred and seventy five thousand, but too much depth and too much complaining. So we're going to get him out of here. Uh, also, we have made. Another move somewhere. Oh, he hasn't come back yet. Adam Hutchinson, uh, we have uh, refused to extend his loan, so he'll be coming back uh, here in, uh, well, tomorrow. He will return to the club, and he will be our reserve center back, and I think we're going to look to try to get rid of uh, Tunji Akinola and see if we can't move him on for a little bit of money. He's not making a lot, but still, if he's not going to play for us, we can send him off. So let's get to today's match, because we need to win something fierce. And yes, we are actual underdogs. I don't know how we have that figured out, but... Uh... Oh, this is a guy that we brought in. I forgot to show you him. Uh, Kyle McGinnis. He came in on a free couple of weeks ago he's a 24 year old Scott three and a half star current three and a half star potential midfield so um, you know, he can also move out to the right wing we do have the winger out there right now but remember he is uh, alone from Liverpool so just in case they call him back or uh, for next season this guy will be in the mix and he is really talented so we certainly want to give him some uh, some playing time, and we might even be able to train him as an inverted winger on that side. But uh, let's get to the team selection. All right, so we're going with Ida up top. You know what? I'm gonna want to try this tactic. It's called Molten. Uh, bust the net uh, is this is one of his uh, tactics, and basically what he's looking to do here is to create scoring from all over the pitch so taking a look through here we do have uh, you know pretty much standard what I play uh, not using the pressing uh, offsides trap which I don't use a lot I'm wondering why if we're gonna counter and counter press we're not doing the uh, pressing but we'll, we'll deal with that uh, early crosses overlaps play out of defense higher tempo, shorter passing. A lot of that fits into what we've been doing. If we take a look at our familiarity, we're at least competent at everything. Uh, so that's coming along. So I wanted to give it a go. Uh, you know what? I do want to take Shepard out of here 
Don't want to risk him getting hurt before going off. Uh, and I don't really need Trafford in there either. Palmer is back. So let's bring on... I wouldn't mind Crouchy, because he can play a lot of positions, and Dominic Ball as well. Let's do that. Now this plays a little bit different. It plays a false nine up top. So we'll see how Ida does in that role. I've used it a couple of times in the friendlies, but um, yeah, still, still giving it, putting it through its paces here. Ask for some creativity. And if we aren't creating out of this, Ingrove picks up a slight injury, a groin. Cross in and off the woodwork by Rawson. Ugh. It's going to be one of these games. McGinley charges up the field. Decent ball movement. Looking for the pass. He reverses field. That was dangerous. Williams on the right flank. He's into the box. He's got a cross. And Collins goes high. Poor header attempt by Collins. Uh, demand more. They appear to be really laying back defensively. Uh, all right. I think I'm going to move off of this tactic. It's basically the same tactic, but we move back up to Bielsa Ball. We're going to be assertive, unlucky boys. Uh, I am going to try to give them the faith. I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, I haven't. I know it's probably a letdown, right? Yeah, I, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Even the cats chime in with the you know everybody. Everybody's a uh, armchair manager. <laughs> All right, let's look for the creativity. We've got some pressure on him here. But they're moving the ball around very, very well here. They look very competent on the ball. Oh, look at that lay-in pass. Oh, what a save at the near post. That was a good, good move. Nobody's really playing bad. Let's move. Collins just recently scored. Let's bring uh, Janiel Bennett on. Let's bring on Crouchy into that midfield spot. He's not a natural there, but he can play. I always get nervous with these set pieces here. Uh, come on, boys. Come on. Let's go up to attacking. Show some passion. Orton into the box. There's a header. Crouchy! His first goal for... Forrest Green, Scott Wharton with the throw. What a play. And Crouchy with the first goal of his tenure. That was not bad. I'm going to keep it on attacking here for a few minutes. Probably going to regret it. Poked away. Good. Over the top, Collins makes the run. Oh, and he can't find the finish. That was not not a good finish. All right, let's drop back to positive. And I do apologize for the little bit of background noise. Uh, I, I do have a guy working here at the house today doing some yard work and just uh, general maintenance and upkeep. He's clearing out a bunch of uh, shrubs and bushes that I don't want anymore. That was a good chest down there. 
and uh, also right now he's doing some pressure washing. So he's been out here since about eight o'clock. It's uh, it's eleven thirty now, and he'll probably be here for a few hours uh, more to come. So uh, that was not lucky. Over the top, there's in Collins. No, he gets rejected. Um, in this, yeah, we don't have work the ball. They were doing a lot of passing around there. Not sure why. White from the corner. There's a header knocked away. White gets to it. There's a cross. Take the shot. Take the shot. And good right at the keeper. He needs to put it more towards the edge. Let's go ahead and make a late sub here if we can. Uh, Nico Williams for Mirez. If he comes on, he might not. White again. McGinley. McGinley takes a ping at it, and that's going to put the nail in the coffin. White with the assist. McGinley, his second Goal of the season gives us the 2-0 advantage here in the FA Cup. Third round, up, third round, I believe we are. Maybe qualifying. I don't remember. Well, I am happy with that. Excellent efforts. Keep it going. Third round FA Cup. Yeah, you happy about that? Good deal. Crouchy on his debut. We get 188,000. McGinley... He wasn't bad with passing. All right, well, we will be back in just a second. I think we have the draw coming up. I would rather not get that, but, you know, we are getting into crunch time where there's not a whole lot of easy opponents left. You know, what's the old saying? If there's no easy opponents, it's probably you. <laughs> That would probably stand to reason. Okay, Fleetwood's a League 1 side. That would have been nice to get. League 2 side would have been nice to get. Oh, can we draw Liverpool? Yes. <laughs> Which probably means a lot of our loan, you know, our loan players will not be able to play in that match. Ouch. That's a little harsh. That'll rearrange our Rotherham match. All right. Well, let's get up to the Millwall match. See you guys back here in a second for that. So, again, we are not favored in this. We are in really poor form. The only good news is they're in worse form. There is hail going on today, so some of our players may be running around and getting cracked on the head. That would be interesting. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave that. We're going to come back to our Bielsa Ball tactic. I'm going to drop back to balanced, I think. So our typical starting 11. Oh, we need a win. Fiercely. Let's not give our early shout here. All right, they get the first shot on goal with a header off a set piece. Wharton, deep into the box. Oh, there is a header there. Oh, a shot! Oh, my God! That keeper just made two really good saves. We did a great job moving it from Ida to Collins to White. White with a shot right from the edge of the six-yard box. And their keeper just, what a save. Oh, that was a great header by McGinley to turn around that route one pass. Kiko's picked up an early yellow, 14th minute. And Harvey Elliott's off sides on that one. So Elliott's back. We had that 50-day layoff, and we do want to remember to look at the World Cup. Yeah, they're off sides, all of them. 
we want to take a look at the World Cup and see how it finished off. Let's ask for some creativity. All right, Rodak makes a nice save. Strong play on the ball. All right, good job. Nope, don't want to do that. Oh, and he gets poached. It's Dekiao across the face of the goal. Luckily, nobody was there. Let's go up to positive since we are controlling possession. Williams, back to the keeper. Good ball movement. I'm really, you can see, you know, we're not perfect, but we, we are really adept at passing for the most part. And, oh, there's a ball over the top. Ida, he has to hold it up, lays it back off. Oh, there's a nice drop-in pass. Elliott crossed over. There's a shot. Scott Wharton comes up from his left back. Nice volley and gets his first goal of the season. That's got to make us happy. Let's demand more. All right, Wharton just picked up a potential knee injury. Uh, yeah, let's sub him off. Well, Shepard's on the bench. I guess he'll get the call. And what just happened? Oh, and then Elliot goes down. A foot injury. Jesus. All right. Um, we will put, uh, yeah, we'll bring Oscar on the wing out there. My God. Two injuries. Right before half. And Elliot stopped the game, so that one's probably worse assertive things are going well but i know you're capable of better need you to avoid a yellow and we've already made our 60 minute sub so don't even think about that all right let's get creative pressured palmer's having a palmer's having a bit of a struggle I want to wait. All right, that's that's long enough. Uh, let's give White a break. Uh, Ebu Adams, let's bring him in. All right, and let's pop into tactics. We're going to slow the pace down just a little bit. Tighten up. All right, we milk out that 1-0 win. Again, I think we deserved a little more. Five chances, only one goal. So I am happy with that. So it gets us three points, which were much needed, right? All right, four to six weeks for Elliot. So if we take a look at him. So McGinnis. Now McGinnis is hurt. He's out for three weeks. So we're going to probably be looking at... Uh, and hearts out two to three months. We've lost a lot of wingers on that side. Do we have anybody else? Let's add in our U23 squad here. And Elliot's out. Hart. So Janiel Bennett's really the only other one. And then we're going to need Freer on this side, but I'm trying to move him. Janiel Bennett could play on that side. Mitchell can play on that side. Four to six weeks. And they're worried about Jed Wallace. Wharton's out six to eight days. He'll miss one game. And we end our five-match winless streak. It won't get any easier. West Brom, top of the table. And then, uh, was that Millwall? Watford. Millwall, we just played Watford. So where do we come back? 
I think we're going to come back for Liverpool. Let's come back for Liverpool and Stoke. And then we'll come back, uh, you know, just because it's Liverpool in the fourth round. Where are we expected to hit in the FA Cup? Just to be competitive. So the board's already happy. So upsetting Liverpool would really earn some brownie points. Taking a look at the club info, and we do want to jump in and look at, uh, not info, vision. And we do want to check out the World Cup. So uh, club culture satisfied pleased very pleased with everything on course and delighted for the ongoing plan current season very pleased with avoiding relegation being competitive we've already passed that so that's good and still reserving judgment on an established i have a feeling if we can finish top half we may actually pass that this season I don't know if that has to do with how you're actually finishing or once you start getting the like the preseason uh, predictions and where you'll uh, finish in the table that you're actually finishing mid table projected to finish mid table. Not sure. Uh, let's see. Let's pop over to the World Cup and England. Well, wow. Wow. Didn't really want to show that because I didn't know that. I wanted to see the groups first. But if we take a look, uh, Jamaica, Uruguay get through over Ghana and Qatar. That was a cluster of a, of a group. England, uh, I know they had one loss that came to Argentina, but they win the group with six points. Argentina gets through over Scotland and Mexico. Uh, the USA falls way short with uh, one draw and two losses in their three matches. I bet it came against Mali. Yep, 1-1. One, one. So Brazil and Czech Republic through easily on that one. Spain and Poland get through easily. Italy and Nigeria gets past Portugal. That's got to be a disappointment for Portugal. Cameroon and France. The Dutch have to be disappointed in that. But Cameroon winning the, winning the group, that's pretty big. Colombia plays well this year and gets through. Belgium is there, of course. And Germany and Switzerland gets through. Japan finishes last. So made a bad call there. Uh, Kylian Mbappe with six goals. Harry Kane with four. And Adson Edouard with three for France. Mindy Johnson. Ashampong. Szymanski. Neymar. De Bruyne. Okay, so if we go up to the next phase, the second round, Argentina clean sheet over Jamaica 2-0. England got past Uruguay 4-1. Brazil 3-0 over Poland. Spain over the Czech Republic 2-0. France and Italy go to penalties. That's a pretty big matchup in the second round. And France advances on PKs. Nigeria gets past Cameroon. That seems like that could have been broken up. Switzerland over Colombia 1-0, and Germany squeaks past Belgium in a goal fest 3-2. In the quarterfinals, it's Spain over Argentina 1-0, England over Brazil 2-1 in a thriller, France over Germany in a 1-0 nail-biter, and Nigeria and Switzerland. Got to be the two outlier clubs in that, in that group, you think? 3-1 uh, Nigeria. In the semis, Spain over Nigeria 2-1 in extra time. Nigeria proving they evidently are a strong side this year. And England, <laughs> those of you English people watching this, if there are any, 2-2 uh, on penalties. We all know England doesn't win World Cup or international matches on penalties. I'm calling fraud on this. But they do advance on penalties. France 5-0 over Nigeria as their Cinderella run ends, and England also scores five goals in a dominant performance over Spain in the World Cup final as they clinch that title for the first time since 66. Yep, right there, 66. Congrats, congrats. What else? I wanted to look at one other thing and I forgot. Um, oh, squad. Let's take a look here real quick because we're going to have some decisions to make. If we're looking at number of starts, so basically 
from maybe Boya down, anybody that's on real high wages, like Oscar, he's not playing enough. Mirez could play more. I mean, you know, both of those guys have a lot of reserve, so I'm okay there. Uh, Dominic Ball, tell you what, I am going to – it's either him or Adams, right? Yeah, I'm going to transfer list Adams. We'll see what kind of response we get. Uh, Janiel Bennett, I'm not going to be able to loan list him, so let's take him off of there with the injuries that we've got. I would really like Leighton Stewart to play more. He has 14 reserve appearances. McGinnis just came on board and got hurt, so that's why he doesn't have a lot. Uh, Starantino will be back in four days. He is unhappy, so we can transfer list him, see if we get any offers. Akinola, we do have a bid on him. He is transfer listed. Hutchinson's just coming back, as is Talbro on that right side. So who else do I have on the right side there? I want to transfer list uh, Lejubic. We're trying to get rid of him. And that defensive right. So we've got Mirez. Actually, this might be the easier way to look at. Nico Williams is the starter. Shepard is leaving. So Talbro is going to be some depth, and he can play a couple of spots. So I'm okay with that. Anybody else that might garner some big money? Scott Wharton is wanted by QPR. I'm not going to transfer list him because he's my starter out there. I don't think we really have anybody. Freer, Freer is wanted, and I, I do need to offer him out. Let's just unspecify. Now, Trafford, if I get rid of everybody else, he is going to be he is going to be my reserve keeper. So I'm going to take him off of loan list. Yeah, I just don't have anybody that's actually wanted. So finances, uh, we are losing a good bit of money every month. Uh, we're down to $2.8 million in the bank, but we're losing a good bit of money a month. We're down 1.7 for, for the season through half a year. So we'll probably be down another $2 million to the end of the season. So we'll see how that goes. Taking a look at the stats, if I can get there, it would be helpful. So 16 and 24 for Ida, 10 and 20 for Collins. And then, unlike last season, we just don't have a lot of guys stepping up here for us. Harvey Elliott's been pretty toothless. Morell and uh, White have been a little bit of a disappointment. So anyway, not sure. All right, guys. Well, we will, as I said, we'll come back for uh, Liverpool and Stoke in all likelihood. Possibly Middlesbrough, but I think Stoke. So we'll see you for that one. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comments. Or is there anybody we should be getting rid of? Am I way off base on anybody that I'm looking to move? By the time you let me know, it might be too late, but we'll see. See you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.